everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jacqueline and I make new videos every week a whole variety of things lifestyle beauty adventure all sorts of fun stuff and I upload every Monday Wednesday and Saturday and today I have a very packed video so I have my Ulta wish list for you guys so I like to do my wish list like once a month and I kind of rotate between Ulta, Sephora, Target um just kind of see what's new and what's going on at those stores and see like what's interesting that I want to get potentially um but this one's a little bit different because Ulta's 21 days of beauty sale is going on it starts the day this video comes out it starts so I love Ulta's 21 days of beauty sale it's like my favorite time of the year I save up my points for it um and I also love that it happens in my birthday month because I get double points in my birthday month so it works out really well but I'm gonna hop in because this I have a lot of stuff so I have the 21 days of beauty stuff and then I also have a few like extra things that I'm just interested in um so a lot of times they have deals on like new releases and stuff so I'm gonna start with the 21 days of beauty sale and then I'll put a timestamp down below for like other stuff in case you're not curious about the 21 days of beauty sale but you should be because there are some really good deals so let's just hop right in okay so I'll pop the whole calendar up right now just so you can kind of see it um, I'll just scroll through it really slowly. Um, I'll also leave a link to the whole sale down below in case you're curious about it. But that's the whole sale. So again, it goes from the 14th to uh, April 3rd. So I'm going to actually start off on the 15th. So my first recommendation from the 15th is a Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. I'm not going to spend too much time on some of these because a lot of them are like cult classics and that's the reason they're in this. So the photo, photo finish primer is one of my favorite primers. Um, it just works really well. It's one of those silicone based primers. It just really smooths everything out. Um, and it's a cult favorite for a reason. It's been around for this long for a reason. It's just one of those amazing primers. Um, so it's cool that it is on sale. It's half off. It's going to be $18.50 for the one ounce size. So really good deal. The next thing on my wish list is from the 16th. This is something I've been kind of looking at for a while now, and um, it's a probably, it'd be a good time to get it if I do get it. And it's the Cover FX Luminous uh, Tinted Moisturizer. So this is again, half off, it's gonna be 1950. Um, they don't have too many colors, but it looks like it's more, like a, it describes as like a tinted moisturizer. Um, so I have a feeling these shades cover like a wide range of skin tones hopefully because they only have four it seems like that's not enough but um I'd probably go for the fair and light color and it just looks like everything that's like what I want you know it's light coverage it's glowy it also moisturizes it says it has a prebiotic and probiotic in it um and it just looks like a really interesting uh complexion product and just definitely something when it first came out I was very interested in it it doesn't have the greatest reviews. It has like three and a half stars ish. So might want to read some reviews and stuff like that before I decide, but it looks really interesting and I'm definitely curious about it. I just realized I didn't put any lip gloss on. So let me put some lip gloss and I'll keep going. Okay, that's much better. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, so the next day um, I have a, some things on the 18th that I found really interesting. So on the 18th, they have Bare Minerals, bronzers, and highlighters on sale. And I've always been curious about more Bare Minerals products. I have their Complexion Rescue Tinted Moisturizer thing, and I love it. So I'm always curious about their other stuff, and some of their loose bronzers look amazing. The one that I have in my cart is the Warmth All Over Face Color Bronzer. It's a loose bronzer, um, and it just looks really pretty and kind of like right up my aisle at Alley. <laughs> nice and warm um it just looks like um on the models it just gives them like a really natural warm glow which i love so it just looks like a really interesting bronzer okay so the next day i have something for is the 19th there's a couple things on the 19th i'm curious about a couple of things are app exclusive and i couldn't get the app to load that page so i don't know what is from uh ico petite and pretty and Too faced i don't know what those are but you know maybe there's something good in there so the first thing that was really interesting to me were the becca shimmering skin perfector press highlights these are going to be 19 dollars on the 19th 
and these are great. I have a couple of like the mini sizes. I have the big one of Champagne Pop um, and they're just so pretty. They have so many colors, so many different shade options to choose from and they just work really well. They are beautiful highlights. Again, these are cult favorites for a reason. Um, they're so popular for a reason. I just really enjoy these. So my fa I, my favorite is probably Champagne Pop. I also have Moonstone and I also have Opal. Those are the ones that I have. Um, I have Moonstone Opal in like mini sizes and they're just really pretty and I really enjoy them. The other thing on the 19th that is very interesting and super exciting, um, they have a bunch of face tools. So they have the Foreo um, which I love the Foreo Mini 2. That's the one I have currently. It's going to be half off. Um, so if I do my math right, it should be, it should be 57.50 if I get my math right. <laughs> Sorry, that was some really major division in my head. Um, but it's amazing. It's a great time to get one if you have been looking at it or maybe you had the, um, Play Plus and you're ready to upgrade. This is a great time to do it. I love my Foreo Mini Luna Mini 2. It's amazing. It's changed my skin. I talk about it all the time. It's really, really good. The other thing that'd be awesome to get during the sale will be the PMD Micro Dermabrasion Classic. This has been on my wish list for a while um, and I might use some of my points to get it. I'm not sure yet. I've heard amazing things about the PMD Micro Dermabrasion kit things and they supposedly work really well. Um, and again, if you're looking to try it, this would be a great time to get because it it's going to be half off. So it's going to be, you know, a lot, a lot cheaper. So it's just something interesting to think about if you're looking for like a tool, this is a great time to pick one of those ex more expensive tools up. The next day I have something I would like to, I'm very curious about actually, is the 20th. And there's actually a new product that comes out on, um, let me see when it comes out on. It comes out on the 13th of March. So just seven days before it goes on sale. And that's the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer. So the regular Shape Tape is on sale as well. They're both 50% off. They're gonna be 13 50 um, I was never super interested in the regular shape tape because I have such dry skin. I was nervous that that high of a coverage tends to you know, make my under eyes not look super great. But this is supposed to be ultra creamy and hydrating and all that stuff. So that sounds way closer to what I would like, but it's still supposed to be full coverage. Again, they have a ton of shades like uh, Tarte always does for their um concealers so you can definitely find the right tone for you lots of lots of shades just tons um so i'm super interested in that and the fact that it's a brand new product and it's going to be on sale i find that super interesting so i'm very excited that one's definitely in my basket and i'm very curious about that all right the next day on march 21st um there's another face product i'm very curious about on sale this is the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum, Spectrum XPF Fit 25. That was a mouthful. Again, like the Cover FX one, this just looks like it's right up my alley. Glowy, not full, super full coverage, you know, light coverage. It just sounds really interesting. It says it's infused with a primer for all day, comfortable wear, and it just looks super like right up my alley. And again, when it's half off, it's only going to be $18. That just seems like a great time to try a new thing out. Because for like a tinted moisturizer, $36 is pretty expensive. But if you can get it half off, that's really great. Um, it definitely has more shades than the Cover FX one. It also has slightly better reviews than the Cover FX one. I'm just really interested in this one. All right, so then we skip ahead to the 23rd. Um, and I am super interested in the Ofra Cosmetics uh, highlighters. So these are now between $17.50 and $20, depending on which ones they are. And they have like almost, I think this is all their highlights. And I've always been curious about Ofra highlights. They're again, one of those cult favorites. People always talk about them. They're one of those just like really well-known highlights. And I've never owned one, but they seem very interesting. And for me, $35 is kind of expensive for a highlight. My only problem is I don't know which one I would be interested in. Uh, the Star Island one looks really pretty. Uh, the Nikki Tutorials Glazed Donut looks really interesting. I like the look of Ray Dada Drive, but I don't know if it's the right shade for me. So it'd just be one of those things I have to kind of like look closer at. The Beverly Hills highlight also looks interesting because you can kind of like pick and choose your highlight a little bit more. 
So you can kind of get a few options, but um, yeah, it looks really interesting. I just have to like figure out what shade I would want. <laughs> All right, the next day is the 26th. And there's a couple things on the 26th. The first thing I'd be interested in is the Benefit Cosmetics Gimme Brow Plus Tinted Volume Volumizing Brow Gel. So I always get the Make Me Brow from Essence, which is kind of like a dupe for this, supposedly. I've never tried this before, but I'm very interested in it. And it's only going to be $12, so it's a much more reasonable price for an eyebrow gel. Um, they have a ton of colors. And this is, again, one of those favorites. People love the Gimme Brow. It's been around for years. And to get it half off is just an awesome time to do it. The other thing, again, I can't get the app exclusive thing to work for me for some reason. But they are, they do have 50% uh, off Kanuka. Hey Honey, Kinship, and Sand and Sky. And it looks like the Kinship sunscreen is going to be 50% off, so it's going to be $12.50. And the Kinship Self Reflect Probiotic Sunscreen is amazing. If you're looking for a great tinted mineral sunscreen, it's a really, really good one. I super enjoy it. And I just think $25 is a little bit expensive for that, but it's a really, really good one. I've talked about it a bunch. It's just tinted enough that it takes away the white cast on my skin tone. I don't know if you have a darker skin tone, if it's going to leave a white, like a ashiness, but it's definitely not like, uh, like a tinted moisturizer or anything like that. That's going to give you a lot of coverage if that's what you're looking for, but it just works really well. And I really enjoy it. All right. So on the 27th, there's a couple things that I love. First of all, the Becca Cosmetics Face primers are on sale. This is how I always get my primers from Becca. I wait until the 21 days of beauty sale and then get one because these are amazing. The two that I love are the backlight and the first light priming filters. They also have the travel size of both of those. So if you just wanna like try them out, it's a good time to do it because the travel size will only be 1050. The full size is gonna be 1950, but they are both awesome. They both work really well and they just make my skin look beautiful. They also have a couple of their other primers on here as well that I haven't tried, but I definitely highly recommend the backlight and the first light. They both are amazing and I'll probably pick up one of them. I have to see which one I'm like lower on and I'll pick that one up this time around. If you love these primers, this is the time to get it because it's on sale and it's just, it's so good. I just love these primers. The other thing on the 27th that I love which if you're looking for a good cleansing oil, this is a great time to get it, is the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. It's gonna be $14 for the full size, and that's a really, really good price for this cleanser. This is one of my favorite oil cleansers. It's just more on the like, it's not super expensive, but you know, just depends on how much you wanna spend on an oil cleanser. But this is a really, really good one. It does smell highly of olive oil, which is one of its like main ingredients, so that's, that's why. So if you don't like that smell either, might wanna stay away from it, but it is just like a super solid, great cleansing oil. If you're looking for a good one at a good price, this is the time to get it, maybe get a couple, and then you have some backups. But I love this DHC cleanser. All right, on the 28th, there's a Clinique concealer that I'm very curious about. So this is the Even Better All Over Concealer and Eraser. So I love the Even Better foundation. It's really good. I love that foundation. And so they have come out with a concealer. So this concealer looks amazing. And so it's a lightweight, full coverage concealer, which sounds great. I'm curious to see how like dry it is. It has four stars, so it doesn't have the worst reviews doesn't have amazing reviews either but it looks really interesting and I also think it's interesting they have a little uh, blender on the on the top so super interesting again they have a ton of shades it says they have 42 shades which is wow that's a lot which is awesome because I feel like sometimes Clinique in the past didn't have the greatest shade range so it's nice to see that they have so many it just looks like a really interesting concealer I, like I said I love the foundation so i'm curious about the concealer all right so let's skip ahead to the 30th now so the thing i'm curious about on the 30th is the nude sticks they have their nudies matte blush and bronzers and this just looks really interesting i've been really curious about nude sticks it kind of seems like right up my alley like natural kind of makeup and i love a good cream blush and bronzer um so i'd probably get a blush um the naughty and spice looks really like perfect for me, it's a, it's a dusty rose. And they just have a bunch of different shades of blush and bronzer, so you just kind of have to go through the swatches and kind of see what would be right for you. Again, the Naughty and Spice looks beautiful. Bareback looks really right up my alley too. 
but this just looks really interesting. They have little brushes on the end to make them like good for traveling and stuff like that. But I just love a cream blush and bronzer. So these just look super interesting. They're gonna be $17. So that's a pretty good price. Okay, so then we're on to April 2nd, which is actually the last day I have things I'm curious about or recommendations. The first thing um, is the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. It's only gonna be $19.50, which is a really good price for a foundation, in my opinion. And this has been a really popular one. It doesn't have the greatest reviews. I don't know if I would like it because it is a full coverage natural matte finish, but I did wanna mention it because it is a pretty popular one with like lots of people and so i'm just curious about it i don't know if i would actually try it i'd rather get one of those tinted moisturizers but if you've been looking to try this face tape foundation it'd be a good time to get it because again it's half off the other thing i'm very curious about on the second is the stila one step correct kitten correcting and brightening primer so again this has been around forever it's one of those cult favorites um and i know a lot of people love this and i'm just very curious about it it's it's got that swirl so you get the color correcting and the brightness all in one. I don't know if I need another primer but it's only going to be $18 and so if you've been looking at this and maybe you know one of your favorite people here on YouTube uses it all the time this would be a great time to try it out yourself. It just looks really interesting so like I said I just love the 21 days of beauty sale to try things like this that like have been on my wish list for a while because they're half off and this just makes everything so much easier to do. Um, and also I want to mention that if you are a uh, diamond and platinum member, you get free shipping on all of them. So you don't have to have a minimum or anything. You just get that one item and ship. Um, and my other thing I would recommend is to check back to see um, what else is on sale. I always tend to stock up on like sheet masks during the 21 days of beauty sale because they tend to be on sale. Um, I would just check like the other sales pages because there's always other great things on sale during the 21 days of beauty sale besides just the steals. So I love the 21 days of beauty sale. Those are all the things I would recommend from it. So let's just hop into a few other things that are kind of like new at Ulta that I'm curious about. So the first thing is this Tree Hut Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub. I love their sugar scrubs. I've used them for years. They're amazing. I love them in the shower. They just make my skin feel so good. Um, but I was curious about this scent mostly. It says it has some firming properties in it. I never know about that. That just doesn't seem whatever. But the scent sounds like amazing. I think it said it was, it had like papaya and stuff in it. And I love a good tropic scent. So I was mostly curious about the scent in this one. Okay, the next thing I'm curious about, it only has one star in here. Don't know if it has, okay, it only has one review. I said that smells horrible, but to each their own, is the Dr. Teal's Sleep Spray. So I love Dr. Teal's. I talk about them all the time in my empties and stuff. I love their Epsom salt and their bath, their bubble bath. They make great bath bombs. Um, so they come out with this um, sleep spray that you can put on your pillow, on your clothes. Um, it says you can put it in your shower. Um, it has a blend of lavender and chamomile essential oils to help soothe you. Um, and I have a hard time every once in a while uh, staying asleep and sometimes a spray like this can help me stay asleep a little bit longer. So I'm just very curious about this one. It's a good price. These kind of sleep sprays tend to be kind of expensive for what they are because they're just like essential oils in a spray bottle. Um, but this one's only $5.99 and I'm just really curious about it because I, I mostly I just love Dr. Teal stuff. All right, the next thing on my list is a from DHC, which I talked about earlier, and this is their face wash powder. So I've been looking for a good, gentle, physical exfoliator. I do shave my face, but I would like to have like a good physical exfoliator, like for the times in between, um, just to like help get those dead skin cells off from my chemical exfoliators. And this sounds like a really good gentle one because the powder kind of dissolves so you can kind of make it as gentle as you want. And it also has enzymes in it to give you those chemical exfoliators as well. And I just really trust DHC cleansers. Um, like I said, I love their oil cleanser and this one looks amazing. It has great reviews. So like I said, it's got the enzymes in it. It's got hyaluronic acid in it. They have sodium hyaluronate, which is hyaluronic acid. It's got silica, which is their exfoliator. It has honey to help nourish, uh, lavender soothes the skin, and then it's free of fragrant, added fragrance, colorants, or parabens. So it just looks like a really good, gentle, 
physical exfoliator. So I'm very curious about that. And it's only $12.50, which is actually a really good price. It is only online only. So again, I'd have to order it like with something else, but it looks really interesting and I'm definitely curious about that. Okay, and I mentioned Kinship earlier. I have another thing from Kinship I'm very curious about. So this is their Kin Skin Oat Ceramide Relief Oil. So I love an oil in my skincare. I use, um, I'm currently using a squalene oil and I'm also using a rosehip oil, um, but this one just looks really interesting. It says that it has oat ceramides. It says rich in fatty acids, ideal to those in the skin to help support the skin's moisture barrier. It also has some form of vitamin C in it. And then they have something called their Kin Glow Com Com Complex <laughs> um, that has a blend of essential omega fatty acids that soothe and restores skin. So it sounds great if like maybe you have a damaged skin barrier or you have some irritation. This sounds like a great oil to kind of add into your routine. It says that it's good for all skin types, including skin barrier, com compromised skin, sensitive skin, and acne prone skin. So yeah, like I said, it sounds just like a great one if you have some irritation. This looks like a great oil to add. And it is $35, which is kind of expensive for a face oil, but it also has, you know, vitamin C and all that kind of stuff in it. So it's very, I'm very curious about that one. I don't know if I need another oil in my skincare routine, but this looks like a good one. Okay, so I have a Bakuchiol here. This is the Beekman 1802 Dream Booster Bakuchiol Beta Retinol Better Aging Serum. Quite a name. I don't know what's up with all these brands like having these insane names recently, but anyway, this is kind of expensive. It's only half an ounce and it's $23. So that is a little bit expensive, but I'm still looking for my perfect Bakuchiol product. Um, this one looked very interesting. So again, Bakuchiol is a plant-derived retinol alternative, and it says that it's four times greater than retinol and helps soothe skin texture, diminish fine lines and wrinkles, and minimize pores. I don't know about that, but it does make my skin feel pretty good. I have noticed a good improvement in my skin, and it's definitely not as harsh as a regular retinol, or if you're pregnant, it's a great thing to try. Um, so it does have the Bakuchi all in it. It also has sunflower, jojoba, and squalene in it to help hydrate and soothe redness and leave skin feeling soft. All great things. It just looks like a really interesting Bakuchi all, but again, it is expensive for half an ounce. Um, I think they say you can mix it in with your moisturizer. Uh, you can put it just directly on your skin. Uh, it says use it alone or with a moisturizer. They recommend you use it with their bloom cream so you can kind of put a little bit of cream on your hand and drop a few drops in and then mix it together and put it on your face to kind of make your own like Bacuchiol cream. Um, I'm sure you could do that with any moisturizer, but it just looks like a really interesting Bacuchiol. Like I said, I'm just still on that Bacuchiol journey to find the perfect one. All right, the next thing I was very interested in are these J.R. Watkins Sleep, Bath and Shower Aromatherapy Tablets. So I did have a few other like Awake, love they had like other um like emotion things or whatever you want to call them to with different scents but the sleep one was the one that i was like the most interested in some of the other scent combinations sounded weird to me um this one is maoni and sandalwood i don't know what maoni is but i love sandalwood um and again like i said i have a hard time every now with sleep and i take showers i tend to feel out where I'm going to take my shower. Cause sometimes I take a shower in the morning. Sometimes I take it at night. Just depends. But this would be a great thing to throw in my shower. So basically it's kind of like a bath bomb. It sounds like you can throw it in your bath as well. But they're the little, these little tablets, you can throw it at the bottom of your shower and it releases uh, scent into your shower. So you can kind of have, um, have like aromatherapy in your shower as well. This one just sounds really interesting. Again, I don't know about the scents. That's what I'm curious about, but the sleep one just looked really interesting to me. And J.R. Watkins makes some really good hand lotion. That smells amazing. So I was curious about these as well. All right, last few things. So the next thing I was very curious about was this Vichy Mode. Norman Derm SOS Acne Rescue Spot Corrector. So I was curious about this because it uses sulfur and not uh, salicylic acid as its main form of uh, spot treatment for acne. So I thought that was really interesting because I love sulfur. I've kind of been staying away from salicylic acid. My skin just hasn't been reacting well to it. So I've been using sulfur as like spot treatments and like as my acne treatment lately and I've been loving it. And so this one just looked really interesting. It's a spot treatment. 
So it's got the 10% sulfur, which is a maximum strength. Um, it also has glycolic acid in it, which is an AHA to help uh, smooth out that acne. And it also has niacinamide, which helps to reduce the moisture and kind of pulls out that moisture. So it helps to uh, get your pimple to go away faster as well. I just thought it was interesting because again, if you're pregnant or something like that, or you have a sensitivity to uh, salicylic acid, you can still use this spot treatment, which is awesome. Cause a lot of the, like, like the Kate Somerville one and the Mari Badescu, like pink one that you dip a Q-tip in, those have salicylic acid in them. So if you have like a sensitivity or you're pregnant or something like that, you can't use those. So it's hard to find a good spot treatment with sulfur in it that doesn't have those things. So I know, um, I don't know if you can use glycolic acid when you're pregnant or not, but I know it doesn't have salicylic acid in it. So yeah, it just looked like a really interesting spot treatment and something different to try. Um, it's only $18, which I thought was a pretty good price for a spot treatment. And it just looked really interesting. All right, the last thing on my to try list is again, another Bakuchiol. This is from Acure and it's their Radical Rejuvenate Bakuchiol Overnight Treatment. So like I said, I've been on the hunt for a good Bakuchiol and this one looks really interesting. It has uh, Bakuchiol and squalene in it. Um, it's a cream, uh, which I haven't seen a lot of Bakuchiol creams. I've seen a lot of Bakuchiol serums. So it's interesting to see a cream. This one's 100% vegan, uh, cruelty-free, free of parabens, sulfates, mineral oils, petroleum, and silicone. It has the maximum 2% uh, Bakuchiol. It doesn't give you a lot of information on it for some reason. I don't know why, but it looks like a really interesting um, one. I have, haven't tried anything from Akira, but I know a lot of people enjoy their brand, so I'm curious about this as well. All right, that was everything on my wish list. It was a lot of stuff, a lot from the 21 Days of Beauty sale, and just some other fun stuff that you might want to check out. If you are shopping the 21 Days of Beauty sale, what are you most looking forward to getting? What's on your like top of your list for the 21 Days of Beauty sale? Leave me a comment down below. I'm really curious what you're super interested in. Maybe I'll add it to my list. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and help me reach my 1,000 subscriber goal for the year by subscribing to our little adventure family here. We would love to have you. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in my next adventure. Bye.